There's only four teams left as the NFC and AFC championship games take place this weekend. Don't worry, there's still plenty of DFS and postseason action to take part in. Here now with the players to start and sit is SI's fantasy analyst, Michael Fabiano. Fabs, we've got the top four teams in the NFL left. Let's talk about the playmakers who feel confident starting this weekend. Yeah, very limited options, right? But I'm going to start off with the Buccaneers and Leonard Fournette who's been maybe the best running back in fantasy football during the postseason. Looking at his numbers last week, 21.7 fantasy points, led all running backs. He scored just under 45 combined fantasy points in the playoffs. The Packers have allowed the fifth most fantasy points to running backs during the course of the season. Cam Akers had nearly 19 against them last week. So Fournette, who's at $5,300 on DraftKings, is worth a look. And then staying with the Buccaneers, Chris Godwin. He's coming off a stinker last week against the Saints, 7.4 fantasy points, but he had scored 18-plus points in each of his previous three games. The Buccaneers could be without Antonio Brown. He's dealing with a knee injury, and Mike Evans was shadowed nearly 80% of the time by Green Bay cornerback Jair Alexander in their first meeting of the season. What does that mean, Caitlin? A lot of targets for Chris Godwin, who comes in at $5,400 on DraftKings, which is actually cheaper than Evans. Yeah, that's good value there. All right, well, you like two Buccaneers, but let's talk about two players to avoid this weekend, Fabs. And we'll start off with the Buffalo Bills and Devin Singletary. I liked them last week because I thought the volume would be there. Little did I know that the Buffalo Bills were not going to run the football. Uh, the touches were not there. He had 10 touches, uh, and this is a team that basically went very pass-heavy, and that makes it really tough to trust Devin Singletary, even against the Chiefs who struggle against running backs, although keep in mind, earlier this season, back in week six, Singletary held to 5.5 fantasy points. So I would sit him, and I'd also sit Rob Gronkowski. I've had him as a sit him for the last couple of weeks, and there's a good reason. He is not producing fantasy points. 2.4 fantasy points combined in his last two games. Last week, he ran 16 pass routes. That's it. Cameron Brait, his teammate, ran 13 pass routes, and they both had five targets. And the Buck also ran the football on 32 of Gronkowski's 54 snaps. That's not what you want from your fantasy tight end. So I get it. He's a big name. Uh, Travis Kelsey is going to be the best play at the position without question. Robert Tunyon will be up there as well. I would be fading Gronkowski, though, this weekend. All right, Fabs, thank you so much for your insight. Really appreciate it. It is going to be an exciting weekend with the NFC and AFC championships game going. Thank you so much for joining me. And for guys at home, for more insight and, of course, Sports Illustrated's award-winning weekly player rankings, make sure to get your membership to SI Fantasy Plus for just $14.99 a month.